Welcome to Billy Review Stuff, where I review stuff. Today I'm looking at NECA's Creature from the Black Lagoon, Guildman. I wanted to go over a little bit of the history and just kind of uh, set the record straight. Um, the original design for the Creature from the Black Lagoon had where it was more of like an eel-like head and it didn't, it didn't work well with the rest of the design of the suit. Uh, then Millicent Patrick designed a very iconic and the more fish-like head that we all remember now. Also, Jack Kavan and Chris Mueller had where they sculpted it. They brought the creature to life. Uh, but then there was also Bud Westmore, um, who had where he worked really hard on erasing everyone else's credit for the creature from the Black Lagoon and taking credit for everyone else's work. Uh, I have a picture of him pretending to paint on the left uh, a sculpture that Chris Mueller is working on on the right. And uh, yeah, yeah, I really hope that history is not kind to Bud Westmore and maybe even forgotten because like even his family had where they got the legendary Jack Pierce. Jack Pierce is a legendary monster makeup artist behind Frankenstein, uh, The Mummy, Dracula. They got him fired from Universal and he was blackballed in Hollywood. And uh, I thought that was a, a fun little fact. And uh, now I'm going to get off my soup, soapbox and uh, let's get into the review. Here's Neckus Gilman out of the box. And I had to do a turnaround on him because, again, he's lovingly recreated here. This is this is what the suit looked like. This is what the Gilman looked like. Um, there could be questions of the color scheme and everything like that because I've heard people say that he was just moss green. He didn't have red lips at all. Just all sorts of things like that. But I still think this this is the perfect looking Gilman. I I like the different tones to his scales, uh, the glimmer to it. Uh, it's it's neat. Even even his I I would say goofy almost eyes. His fish eyes just have where they just they look fantastic. They look like the suit. It's it's wonderful. Um, also, he does come with alternate head sculpts, uh, from the other two gill men that I've gotten so far. They had, uh, either the open mouth or the closed mouth. Uh, this one actually comes with the third mouth, uh, head, uh, the poseable mouth, which I, I wish all the other ones, I wish the glow in the dark one had this. I wish the, uh, Burger King Kids Club version of this had the uh, open mouth, well, openable mouth one. I, I feel like this should have been the one that was on all of the bodies. Uh, here is his other alternate head of, uh, help me, I'm breathing. You know, just that fish out of water <gasps> boop look. Uh, I love it. Um, he doesn't come with any kind of weapons or fossils or anything like that, like the Jada Toys one. The Jada Toys one even came with the, the little fossilized hand. Uh, I need to heat this up and straighten up because it's warped to hell. But like, yeah, um, I kind of wish it like the NECA one did come with that. But the NECA one recreates, recreates something that the uh, the Jada toys can't quite do is like this guy has everything for doing amazing swimming poses. It has every type of gill man hand you could possibly want it's it's got them all he can he can slap the uh the intruders to the black lagoon uh straight out of the boat or to death whichever whichever one you know you prefer it's it's amazing uh let's get into articulation next so articulation on the gill man um I love the design of the Gill Man. I've said it in like the review for the Glow in the Dark one. I love how they mixed hard plastics with soft plastics to cover joints to cover up those usually, usually the sausage joints that NECA uses or any company uses where it has where it goes from here, there's the joint, and then goes into here. Uh, look awful. But thanks to the design of the Gill Man and how they incorporated it, with covering it with like that rubber there, it it really works. So from the top, he has a ball joint at the neck and a ball joint at his head. He has hinges and twists at his shoulders. 
so he can get up to a delightful T pose. Um, again, like the top part here is a softer plastic. Uh, he can go all the way around at his shoulders. There's no bicep here, but you have the twist at the elbow, which then has where it's a double elbow, so he can hinge that in. And since it's soft, like he can he can cover his wound from being shot or stabbed or harpooned or anything. He then has a excellent hinge at the wrist and a twist. Going into the torso itself, let's get these arms up out of here. Get these arms up. Uh, he has a ball joint at the top of the torso. He has a ball joint at the beginning of the pelvis. And thanks to that and the rubbering, uh, the rubber, the rubbering, the rubber coating, the rubber body parts. He can go so far forward. He can go so far back. If you wanted to, I have the, the, the fins lined up here. You could probably get those over or you can get them to go just a little bit more. But like, that's, that's dynamic. That's dramatic. I love it. Um, he does not have any kind of drop down hips, which I think works. Um, he has ball jointed hips and then a twist at the top of the hips. And since he has like that kind of like rubber crotch pelvis there, he can go, let's get it. Let's get them both going here. He can go so far forward. He can go so far back. Just oof, weird crotch. Uh, <laughs> He then has where he has a double knee, so he can hinge that all the way back, which is just, it's its just a lot of articulation for a NECA figure. And then he has the, the normal hinges at the foot, has the rocker hidden in there, and you can also twist around. So there is a ton of articulation in the Gill Man. And the reason there's a ton of the articulation in the Gill Man, and the only negative I can say about this release of the Gill Man is he should have come with a stand. Because with enough effort, you can have where you pop. Oh, God. If I popped his hands off. Popped it, pop him around and get him adjusted to have where he dynamic looking swimming poses. Honestly, I. I think he should have came with a stand. Um, it's no big, like, deal breaker, but, like, if you can get one, you can have him doing some really cool stuff. Um, I'd go back and watch the film and get him into poses like that. Uh, Rico Browning was uh, the underwater creature, and his his work on that had where it was just wonderful. Um, but... Let's go ahead and get him into a size comparison. Here is the Gill Man with Glow in the Dark Gill Man, Burger King Toy Gill Man, Loot Fright Exclusive Tribute Burger King Toy Gill Man, Jada Toys Gill Man, Miss, 1999 Stuffins Gill Man, Imperial Toys Squishy Gill Man, And Telco Motionette Gill Man. I wonder if it still works. Let's see, guys. So in 2024, the 70th anniversary of the release of Creature from the Black Lagoon, do you need him in your collection? I think you do. From the sculpt the articulation, just how they have him put together, honestly. He's a wonderful figure, a part of history, and this this is that perfect one-twelfth scale that you can have in your collection to show that off. Even the box has where it has the amazing poster art for it. It itself should be on display, and I'm going to end up having to display it because it looks so good. It will look good with the rest of my Gilman collection that I've unearthed over the past week. Uh, get him. It, get him before he becomes impossible to get. I had to track him down at a Best Buy uh, in Mobile, Alabama to uh, actually get him because kind of everywhere else that I could get him in time for this too, 
had where they just had the black and white version, um, which I, I think I'm going to pick up next because I do love this design a lot. I have three versions of this guy now. I might as well get the black and white version too because then, then the collection is complete unless they make another one that has where it's like some kind of fun colors or weird. Please don't do that to me, NECA. Please don't. But tell me what you think down below. Are you a Universal Monster fan? Do you love the Gill Man? Do you love the Shape of Water? Do you think the Shape of Water is like a good interpretation of the Gill Man and should be considered a sequel? Um, let me know down below. Any question, comments, concerns, all of it. Let's have a conversation. Uh, I've been Billy Beige. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.